we're filming. Good day. It's me again on the bust, hunting the magnificent Australian Yowie. Um, just coming up a pretty, pretty sketchy, steep spur, but out of a valley. But I'm almost at the top. There's a lot of water down in the valley, so that was pretty exciting. Um, I was kind of hoping to come across some kind of yaoi feces, but then I realised um, if the crayfish kind of slow down a bit in the colder months, the winter months, I think it was minus, oh, it was pretty cold this morning, then they're not going to be out and about sort of cleaning up the um, yaoi feces. And, so the, the yaoi itself must have to adapt to that reality. I um, hope I can get through these cliffs up here. If I can't, I'm in trouble. Um, should be right. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, so if the yaoi can't really conceal its um, toileting through the colder months using those crayfish which I've established then it maybe it changes its diet and maybe its gut has some adaptations that that, that sort of produce at that at the end of that cycle a, a fine spray um, which I imagine would smell if they're still well, they're, maybe they're not eating lyrebirds in the winter, um, which wouldn't really make sense because they're certainly out and about and making themselves known in those late autumn months. So, um, be a good time to chow down. Or, or yeah, there could be a definitive cutoff point for their for, for their diet. <clears throat> maybe the yowie itself um, goes into a bit of a Bit of a slowdown in the colder months itself and um, that's why I'm not having the kind of success I would wish in locating one um, just because I sort of I should be focusing my energies during the summer I'm not I'm not sure um, I'm gonna die if I try and go that way who knows? Um, anyway, haven't seen one yet today. Um, up on a dry ridge now. And uh, I've got to try and... You know, I, don't, I don't really know where I'm going. If I get, if I get above this cliff line, I don't really know how, how I'm going get, to get back to where I started, to be honest. But that's all right. Um, you can't, you know, like I, I don't know where the yaoi is, so I've got to sort of, got to peruse the options. Um, and, hmm, it's an interesting little conundrum. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so the fine spray, I'm thinking, you know, possibly in the winter months, changes its diet to something abundant. It might, it might simply be like, you know, like banksia, kind of um, these kind of flowers that have nectar. It might just squat in these kind of banksias and bushes that are flowering and wait for small um, nectar-eating birds, a bit like a, a cat would, and just snatch those. I'm not the one to know. Um, but I'm on a journey of discovery. And I could be filming my own demise here Ooh, very shaly and loose around here um it's been said there's sort of a the yaoi has some kind of all-knowing all-seeing omnipotence um i don't actually really know what that means but it sounds appropriate um in the in the bush which is a really powerful concept it's very interesting I, it's it's not an uncommon um, claim for various um, various systems of 
perception and that's where the power lies really in in perception i mean these um kind of groups and institutions that wield a lot of power and people think they're sort of it's all to do with the the the, the money that they hold but really it's their their ability to influence perception and um, try and manifest some kind of outcomes using that that perception in the general public and so I guess our, the Yowie hunting community we, we're sort of looking to um, just incorporate yeah, we culture into society and, and have some level of acceptance and beyond that like a a blossoming a fruition of of um yeah always being able to just step out and be themselves and not um you know not hide away in the in the bushes and that would be a an interesting manifestation and um be a dream come true I mean there's a lot of things that you know I might wish to happen that that don't necessarily uh, manifest in this physical realm um, for instance I, I dream quite often that I'm like um, attractive to, to to females and and no doubt that I am but it it doesn't really kind of um, manifest necessarily, but that doesn't that doesn't mean it's not true. And the same can be said for Yowies. Um, I mean, every every you know blue-blooded Australian probably dreams of Yowies regularly. I know I do, and um, you know, don't be disheartened if you're not going for a bushwalk and seeing them, because as as many have pointed out there. They're right, they're right here with us. Um, and so we just have to keep fighting the good fight. And having said that, by all means, try and trap one. Um, as long as it doesn't hurt it too much. I mean, science is science. You have to make some compromises and um, to, to kind of get the, get the goods, to get the result that you're looking for. And after all, the only reason I'm holding this camera is because I'm, I'm sort of looking for that that tangible um, proof of, of what I, I am already completely assured exists. Um, I'm also looking at this tangible hillside that's nearing cliff-like qualities and wondering whether I'm going to go either way. Either way, it looks totally sketchy. Um, very crumbly stuff, so... I'm gonna turn the camera off and if this is my last um, film, then I'd just like to say, yeah, these are real. We'll leave it at that. That's pretty much the most um, profound and potent um, thing that I'd like to 